just finesse this a little bit more. That's close enough. So, back to our camera. these and so a basic interior light of course uh, the After Effects materials are also fully supported so put cast shells on ah now we have some uh, uh, shadows that the horse is casting, and horses are not shiny. Actually, uh, a uh, well-groomed uh, horse's coat does have uh, some glossy shine to it, so it's not entirely true. And yeah, grab our material. Okay, we don't have any ambient lights set up, but just in case. And let's bring in the texture source. Uh, grab textures. Okay. So, uh, good thing to remember is always uh, save your files in the correct format before uh, doing anything. So uh, I need to uh, re-save these and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, let's try this again. And bloop a doop. Uh, Grab our textures and yes, right. Okay, so we now have all these JPEGs, bring them into our comp. and bring them all the way to the bottom so they don't uh, break our wall. Okay. Go back up. And let's try to uh, bring some textures in on this. So Body diffuse. Okay, so yeah, uh, looks like the 
uh, texturing was applied correctly. Just kind of look around it. Okay, that'll do. Uh, one problem we do have is that within this OBJ, uh, we only have everything is combined into one object. So where before we had these, it was like it was one object, but it had three materials applied to it. Uh, Atom Craft doesn't seem to support that, so what we have is what we have. And everything is mapped onto it. Okay, and uh, we have displacement, of course. We can throw our body bump onto there. Okay, for some reason, there's some weird opacity issues or something, but it seems to be working. So, we have these two control he controls here, they look about the same. And uh, so we have a scale, which is obviously the strength or uh, the depth uh, that this displacement texture is having, and uh, the amount that's affecting it. So I'm not sure. Uh, which one is better to use over the other, but, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, I think, uh, we're seeing some issues because I had the UV map overlaid uh, on top of this texture. Nope. Texture looks fine, so... Um, when you run into something like this, uh, generally just... Uh, count it as a bug and move on. Uh, hopefully it'll work better later on. <laughs> uh, what we can also do is use a displacement texture or displacement effect rather and use our texture here Yeah, so it's kind of dark. Oh, <laughs> I guess we can see that it is working. Seem to have thrown this effect on the wrong out, the wrong layer here.
Okay, so we have a little bit more options uh, with this than with the uh, displacement in our atom displace uh, our basic material effect and uh, we have this channel option uh, which we can set to uh, take just the uh, the luminance uh, values uh, which we have a uh, just a gray bump map so it doesn't need to uh, convert everything into luminance values if you change it to something like green it'll be exactly the same and if we had an image with alpha obviously we could uh, use the transparency values to drive our bump and uh, it's also normal maps which work same as they would in any other 3D application but we don't have a normal map <laughs> uh, vector map which would be for vector displacement but just set it back there And, yeah, so we're still seeing the UVs for some reason, but uh, otherwise, if we looked around here and zoomed in close, we, we should be able to see some bump. Uh, let's try toggling the sign off. And this doesn't seem to be working very well because it shouldn't cause the model to expand like that. So, I really don't know why that's happening. 